happy Saturday. It is just after quarter past nine and uh, I've been up for about two hours or so and let James sleep because you need to catch up on sleep and I'll, I need to work efficiently today and he's going to take care of the boys most of the day so I thought I'll just let him sleep while I start their breakfast and all that so then he can be efficient for the rest of the day. Today I am going to spend mostly working um, so hopefully tomorrow we can have a uh, work free family day um just put my tongue Ugh. um so i have a pile of sticker sheets uh, printed that i need to cut i need to do a bit more designing on some more sheets for those kits uh pack some orders yeah i'm gonna try and wrap up all my work today it might mean that i will spend most of the day in the office but I'm in my pyjamas and I will more than likely stay in my pyjamas all day. Uh, it is getting colder so my teddy bear um, poncho is back out again. Um, I have some slippers which is something I don't do very often. Um, I would like to walk barefoot everywhere all the time. I very rarely wear... When I'm in my house the first thing I do is take my shoes off. I like to be on the ground directly. Uh, even if I'm back in the house for five minutes, I will take my shoes off and put them back on before I go. Uh, and I prefer to walk barefoot than in socks, but sometimes it just gets too cold. And the office is the coldest place in the house, uh, so we have an extra radiator for it for when it gets too cold. But I'm thinking if I put an extra layer on, I don't need the radiator, if you know what I mean. Um, if it's getting too uncomfortable, then I will take this off and put the radiator on, but for the minute it's still okay, so I will do that. The rest of the house is fine, but it's just because of whether for most of it is positioned, and this is the room in the house that gets the um, least sunshine, so it's always the coldest one. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna get to work, and I will catch up with you a bit later on. So I will show you my setup. So I have the next sticker sheets to be cut there. These are the ones that I've cut so far. I'm watching French TV on that. I'm working on this for the cutting at the same time. I'm planning my video I'm filming tomorrow on that, and I have the cutting machine over here. And this is, seems to be working pretty well for now. Uh, I have been so proactive this morning. I'm so glad it's one o'clock. Owen is back from dance class having his lunch. James uh, brought Alfie for a little drive because he couldn't settle to go down for his nap and uh, sometimes he's overtired and he just gets crying and crying and crying so the car usually calms him down. So he decided to bring him for a little drive to calm him down. Um, I have now cut all the stickers that I have finished so the ones I need to still cut today I need to finish to design, print and then cut but I'm going to show you first um, I have made four Christmas uh, sticker kits in four, diff four different color skins and I thought I would share that with you. So uh, here they are. So the first one, hoping this shows well, the light is rubbish here, but uh, this one is uh, like in purples and blues. That's the main one. Then we have this one. That's the strip that goes at the bottom of the planner. Some headers and then all the other ones have like different sheets there's some missing still some little sheets as well then the next one is more like a traditional like i wanted to go for like craft paper and red and white there's this that's the bottom bit the headers well the rest is <laughs> not is coordinating labels basically then next one is like a more bright colored one with pinks and blues and purples and greens and the last one is a very traditional red and green and white um, thing and I decided to go for that. I hesitated to put the Santas first and then I thought I wanted the green, the, the red to go out more and I really love this print so I went with that. And there we are. So I've done all that. I've also cut all the orders for now. I've put, um, when I cut a sheet there's several label, like several sheets being cut together so I kind of keep keep I'm gonna show you uh, all the kits I'm gonna have to, when if I start to have more I'm gonna have to finish this system but like they are all kept together all the sheets I have left so then when people order I go through this folder first 
to see if I have the thing in stock. And then I have a notebook there where I write what I need to print and cut and all that. I'm also looking into um, um, different alternative postage solution to lower my postage costs because uh, I want to work with a flat rate postage so no matter how much you um, order you you just as you know it's that price and that's it uh, but sometimes it's hard to, especially for international deliveries to work it out at the moment my uh, deliveries to the US I think are six pounds I, I have everything saved so um, but um, sometimes if people order just one sheet it's not really worth it the only other way would to do it would be to charge that and then to refund people if there is a big difference but it's very hard to it's a lot of work so i'm looking into an option to continue to have a flat rate uh, option but to lower the cost overall so i will be doing some of that this afternoon as well i've decided i'm going to stay in pyjamas all day and work all day so then that's all my work set up for like finished for the week and i'm going to start a little bit of the work for next week uh, so then it's done and it means tomorrow I get a full day off and we can enjoy it. Now before I do anything else, I have uh, steamed some uh, green beans earlier um, for tonight. Well, it's for tonight's dinner, but I'm, I made a bit extra so I can have some for lunch too. I just feel like I need some more <laughs> green vegetables into me. So I'm going to heat them up a little bit with a little bit of olive oil and garlic in there because it just gives it more flavor. And for dinner, we have sausages and mash. Yes, we'll all have the same, but um, I just wanted to add vegetables because my belly needs it badly. My whole body needs it badly. But look at this. Look. It's so, it's getting so orange on the top. I'm so happy. And then the big one as well is starting to go orange. So There's quite a lot of sun coming in there. So I've been rotating them gradually but we're gonna get there this one is still but every day it gets more of these top things so there's hope so this is my very green lunch um i just feel like i need a lot of vegetable at the moment and i just wanted the green ones for some reason so i have green beans peas um they are cooked with herbs and uh, leeks and a bit of lardo as well but it sounds really nice oh and i eat in kids plates because um i can only eat so much and if i see um a big plate which is i tend to put too much on my plate if i eat with a big plate and then i overeat and it makes me sick so um just to make sure i eat the right amount i kid i stick to either children or dessert plates Hello, so Owen and I are now in the kitchen. We're going to make some pain au chocolat. We're going to make some for today and some for tomorrow. If and the weather is nice, the yeah, if the weather is nice, we're going to visit an orchard. So we thought we would bring some with us. Um, so we're going to make quite a big batch. So we have them after. Are you excited? Yay! Here they are already. Um, um, there was one that <laughs> we did know. Well, we thought because there was two packets there was usually there's only enough chocolate bars and there was one left in the first packet so we thought there might have been one extra so when ate it turned out he had mixed them from the different packets so one popula has just one bar of chocolate instead of two so we just rolled it on its own instead of rolling it like each side but it would be nice anyway so i was also just cooking i have the green beans reheating the rest of them have some mashed potatoes keeping warm in here and the pain au chocolat are cooked and now it's all steamed up and you can't see i'll show you in a second there we go they're all perfect but they are made with love and the dinner is ready for everyone So it's now um, 22.9 and I'm going to stop the vlog here. I'm very happy with how much work I got done today. I got nothing else done apart from work, but at least 
this is done um i have to print out like uh labels for parcels and stuff but i can do that tomorrow it doesn't take very long and it means we can go to the orchard tomorrow if the weather is nice which is good and um yeah that's it for today really um i hope you're having uh, you've had a nice weekend and i will see you tomorrow for another vlog bye